Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Football Manager Road to Glory save here with York City, the save where we take York from the Vanarama Conference North all the way to the Premier League and beyond. Uh, in today's episode coming up for you, uh, we've got a game coming up against Southampton uh, in the league. Big, big game uh, in the league and then we'll also do the Brighton game. Uh, as the second game. You can see from the league table uh, over on the right that we are doing incredibly well. It is such a surprise uh, to see us up there. I really wasn't expecting that but I do say that uh, it seems every season uh, with this amazing York side. So if you are new uh, to the see, uh, to the um, save uh, please leave a, a like uh, and a, a subscribe down below would help me out tremendously. Uh, let's crack on uh, with the episode. So you can see from our form sheet here, from our schedule sheet, we did we have played a lot, a heck of a lot of games um, off camera from the uh, Sheffield Wednesday QPR uh, game which we played last episode. So we played like two, maybe two and a half months uh, of the season. I'm not going to go through every result like I used to with the highlights, just pick out the key ones. So um, against Brentford, 5-1, incredible result that one. Uh, Matt West has just been absolutely... Uh, unbelievable he really has there was one game I think here uh, where he got close to a 10 I think it was a 9.7 uh, rating really really good Charlie Wiggett continues uh, to call uh, cause problems in the dressing room uh, but he is is still wanted and I think I'm gonna cash in uh, on him uh, in the summer there are loads of uh, of kids that I'm after. Uh, I'll show you my shortlist in a minute. I'll give you a little window into how I do uh, my transfers and scouting in a minute, but it is quite <laughs> extensive, so uh, I'll be warned about that one. It's not for the faint heart hearted. Um, Talbot's do, been doing well. Gary Ross, of course, on tremendous form. Let's have a look at Gary here. Uh, yeah, 12 goals in 14 games. He really, really is just an exceptional player, but I think. Uh, of all of our loan signings, I'd love most of all to bring West in, then Boxall, uh, then Gary, uh, 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 then Gary himself, Gary Ross himself. But West uh, is a real priority uh, of mine in the summer if we go up uh, this season, even if we stay uh, in the league. So uh, you can see the good form continued. Our, our defence, our keeper, and our defence is still uh, a little bit shaky. We concede far, far too often. Uh, from free kicks and corners uh, for my liking and our, our defence, our defenders, uh, whoever we play there is just error prone and a little bit inexperienced uh, as well. But that's the nature uh, of the way I do my business really, I think. This uh, patch here, uh, Wigan, uh, Sheffield United and Huddersfield were very patchy indeed. We were on poor form and I was thinking, okay, maybe we are uh, like a mid-table kind of side which is fine uh, if we are, but we picked up uh, from that. And since then, we've been, been on a really, really strong uh, run of form. I mean, uh, Dale Mills here uh, has been doing tremendously well. He's uh, wanted again. All the big boys uh, are in for him. They want him. I'm going to, if I do sell him, it is going to be a cracker whopper stomper uh, of a deal. There are prospects out there who I feel are a little bit better than him at in, in fairness, but he's our play. He came through our youth ranks, uh, so I'm determined uh, to to um, uh, to keep hold of him. So um, I'll show you the um, uh, I'll show you some of the stuff I've been doing off camera. Uh, so let's go into our scouting uh, and have a look at my um, my shortlist here, my new uh, prospect shortlist. So you can see what I do. Oh, it's, it, it really is. Like, every time I get any spare moments, I'm just scouting, scouting, scouting. All the England under-21s, the Scottish, the Irish, the Welsh uh, under-21s, they all get scouted, and the under-18s. All the Premier League uh, sides, the big ones, they get scouted. Uh, I like to scout in um, Slovakia, Slovenia, Croatia. Uh, their under-21 side just started up uh, in Spain, France, and Italy. Um, so you can see here, I mean... Goodness me, we've got a lot of players uh, who are scouted who I feel could be good. Um, let's have a look at the the recommendation uh, list here. Lee Pavey from Tottenham is an example. I mean, look at him here. He can easily walk in, waltz in uh, to our team right now. Uh, and certainly when we go up there, Maggi, uh, this kid I've just uh, I've noticed he came up uh, what a week or two ago uh, looking at the Italy. Uh, under 21s. He is an absolutely incredible 
uh, player for an 18 year old I think he's going to be a beast you know one of those worldy uh, players um, I'm looking into uh, Aaron Dale there again um, Harwood uh, still on my list uh, I still want him and I am persistent uh, with these players, I don't just discard them uh, if they don't. If the, if it does a deal doesn't work out, I was in for Jacob Gray, for example, over the summer, uh, but they wanted too much, and uh, his contract uh, is coming to an end uh, this year. So I'm keeping my eye, eye out, and hopefully uh, we can pick up a handy uh, little bargain. As Coney, you can see there, our former player uh, on the list. Who else was I looking at? I wanted to show you Dumas here. Um, from Paris Saint-Germain. Look at that. I mean, goodness me. Some of these prospects that I'm finding uh, are just absolutely incredible. And you will get that in your own save. If you let the save go on uh, long enough, you will get these players uh, come through who you just think, I must, 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 must have him. There was a, a player from... I think Slovakia or Slovenia. Anyway, we could we could be in this uh, in this shortlist. Uh, I call it a shortlist. It's not really a shortlist. It's a long list, I suppose. What I do then, by the way, once these players are, are sorted through uh, and um, uh, scouted, I, I I can then filter by you know um, running out a contract at the end of the season, uh, interested in transfers, interested in loans, and build up my knowledge base. Uh, from then, so that that's why we've got we've done so well. I think it's because of this policy uh, that I have a really really extensive uh, scouting. And I think if you're doing this road to the build uh, road to glory uh, type save yourself, you've got to put in the hours uh, of scouting uh, out the news. So just as an example, this guy's literally just come up um, on my final uh, finalised scout reports. What an incredible, incredible player from Rennes, Rennes uh, we have here. I mean, he is absolutely uh, sensational. 1.4 million. I'd be happy he'd just walk into the team. Uh, you know, I'd be very, very happy. He's already on my uh, new shortlist. Very, very happy to bring him in. Um, Meda here uh, could be. Uh, we need to keep scouting to get full knowledge. Um, Milicevic, I think he could be uh, somebody we uh, go for if we can't get Ross uh, in on a permanent. I mean, I think he could be absolutely incredible. Only thing which does slightly concern me uh, about him is his natural fitness uh, and his strength there, but. Goodness me, there are some really, really excellent uh, prospects around the place. So you've got to keep your eye out. You've got to do your do your homework as such, and you will, will, will uh, get the rewards uh, for it. So let's crack on uh, and get to the Southampton game. So this is the team we're going to go with today, everybody. Um, Gary Ross has picked up a little knock on uh, under twenty one international duty. Wallace uh, has come in. He's not happy at the moment because of his lack of game time. Uh, I've been sort of really, really harsh with anyone uh, who comes to me with uh, complaints and on that front. I've just had enough uh, of these dressing room bust-ups and uh, they're starting uh, to, res to respect my authority. Uh, so um, thankfully, I think my level of discipline is improving uh, as a coach. So thankfully, um, I hope that that should be uh, that. Should be that. Uh, as soon as anybody really, really kicks up a fuss, I'm just going to sell them. I've had enough. Uh, of all this nonsense there are so many players out there uh, that we can bring in to replace them it's not even funny so over on the left we've got west uh, we're going with wallace and berry uh, over on the right do we play him like that uh, i think i'm going to try him as an inverted winger uh, on attack see how that goes lewis uh, shadow striker we've got um the kid uh, Dale Mills, who can come on uh, if needs be. Boxall and Jenks in the middle. Joseph at left, uh, left back. Um, Reese Devine has got a, a suspension. He does pick up a, up an awful lot uh, of y yellow cards. And Leif Davis, uh, who is injured at the moment, um, is unhappy uh, anyway. So he's off. I think Greenwood uh, might be off. Urkelani uh, might be off in the in the in the um, in the January. And who else? There was someone else I was going to sell. Uh, but I've forgotten about them now. So um, anyway, let's crack on uh, with the match itself. Submit the team, get to the dressing room, give the uh, team talk. Here we go, dressing room. Pick up where they left off. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Um, so, I mean, I know I say that every season that I'm surprised at how we are, uh, where we are. Um, but I really, really am this season. You know, usually um, in the last few FMs, I, I found it what happens is you get to uh, a level or a plateau, I'll 
blow Joseph has got a, uh, a knock there. That is really, really uh, unfortunate. We're just going to have to play Jake Kane uh, there. We, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we, you normally get to a level where we, where you plateau off and, and you find it for a couple of seasons uh, really, really hard to progress and push through. I think it must be that I'm treating this game uh, as <laughs> because it's on YouTube as a super serious kind of save uh, and I'm doing all my homework because we haven't uh, done that, reached that plateau uh, yet. And I think there's no reason why we can't just keep progressing uh, up the leagues. I mean, I won't be unhappy if we drop into the playoffs by any stretch. Playoffs would be an incredible uh, result for us and for our side, if you think about it. Kane, Mr. Versatile, with a lovely ball uh, over the top to Wallace. Wallace with a shot. Uh, yeah, well, I'm a bit um, upset with Wallace, particularly. Uh, he scored five or six goals already. I don't... I think maybe I did, Wallace. Uh, unlucky. I think maybe I did promise him, you know... Um, uh, important first team player uh, to keep him away from AC Milan. Macy's been really, really good. I'd love to bring Macy in uh, on a uh, permanent if we can. So it all depends, I suppose, if we um, manage to go up this season, what we're going to be doing uh, in the long term. But there are so many prospects. Um, West with an amazing run. Uh, there are so many prospects, uh, you know, out there that we can uh, we can pick up. Uh, that I'm very, very optimistic that whatever fine our finances are, uh, we can really, really progress, push on uh, the club, as I say. I mean, the, the board are a little bit annoying in the fact that they don't ever want to um, improve the stadium or, you know, invest heavily uh, outside. But I suspect that will all change when we get to the, prem when we get to the Premiership. Uh, there'll either be a board takeover, um, and I'm hoping for a tycoon, obviously, uh, or they will start to invest uh, in that. So, nil-nil uh, against Southampton. Not too bad, considering we have our, our injury to our left-back, John Joseph, uh, there. Uh, I've been training Joseph as well as um, a centre-back, and he was doing really, really well uh, in that role. Berry. Berry scores a goal. I do like Berry. Seventh goal. Kenny Berry, seventh goal of the season uh, from an inside-forward role. Um, I do change him around, you know, where where he plays his role because he is quite versatile in that sense. Jenks has been brilliant, uh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant for us. So glad we got Jenks. In fact, I'm just delighted uh, with all my summer transfers. The only areas of concern for me are our keeper, as usual, um, Slicker and West and uh, uh, Slicker and uh, the other lad, Fred Robinson. Don't uh, fill me uh, with uh, with much. Um, confidence as goalies uh, for the future but like I say I mean because they're young and, and they've got a lot of uh, potential we can always just cash in on them you know a couple of million here and then and that's the case with all of our players uh, that's why it's so so good not just to settle you know for your main targets in the summer but keep shopping around uh, for the kids keep shopping around for those five star uh, potential uh, players, they are out there. They do exist. You've got to do the work to find them, uh, but you will uh, reap the rewards uh, for that. So it's still one 0 to York, York Southampton. This could be an incredible result uh, if we get it. Redmond Macy on a on a yellow. We've got to be careful with him. Jenks plays it over the top to Wallace. Wallace scores seventh goal of the season for Terry Wallace. Well done, mate. Uh, I think um, as I say, I mean not only has he had. Uh, Ross to compete with for his spot and he's not been um, the arrows you know in his training haven't quite been going up uh, and up and up as I would expect uh, let's bring Dale Mills on for a little bit more game time mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. and I think I want to play Lucas uh, over on the right even though uh, Makaj won Lucas I think is going to be a really good player uh, he was improving a lot more than that you can see from his graph here uh, he was getting better and better but I think uh, he just needs uh, more game time, confirm the changes, more game time under his belt, like a lot of these players. I mean, uh, we're not as overburdened with players as we had been in previous seasons. West scoring there, we're from a long throw from Macy. Um, we're not as overburdened, you know, in, in the numbers of players that we have, uh, like we have been in previous seasons. I mean, our under-21s is a little chocker, but, uh, chocker, but that's all right. I mean, I don't mind... Uh, the under-21s being full at all. I 
prospects. But that's why we we've, we've got we've had so many of these dressing room bust up player compa complaints, all that kind of side of things, which I I hate to see. You hate to see it, but it will happen, uh, of course, eventually. And you just got to ride out the storm, you know. Sell who you need to sell, cash in, make profit, wheel a deal, bring in more replacements. And just go go that route, you know, go 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 that way of uh, being a selling club, um, profit above all else, club above all else. Mills is interesting, by the way. Oh, hack down. Mills is interesting, by the way. I think he's going to be totally a tremendous player. I've, I'm fully convinced uh, of that. But I don't think he's a a natural specialist in that shadow striker uh, position. There are a couple of kids. Uh, who I've got on my shortlist who could be better uh, in that role than he is. I think there's one Croatian or Russian, uh, I think, who could be um, really, really good uh, in that role. And Man United have got a player who we could loan in maybe next season. So 3-0 uh, to York versus Southampton. Absolutely incredible uh, result there. I mean, I, it really, really is just tremendous how we're doing. Uh, so far this season. Let's move on uh, to the Brighton game. Uh, they hate us. <laughs> I, I like Brighton. They're our feeder club uh, almost. But we'll move on to the Brighton game and hopefully keep this uh, excellent run of form uh, going on. Here we are then everybody. Day of the game itself. Let's crack on with this game because I feel this episode is going to be uh, going on a little bit longer than I'd normally like. So let's crack on with the episode. Team selection. We'll just do a quick pick. Uh, yeah, Divine's back. Uh, what on earth is Kane uh, doing out there? Where's our left winger? Westy's um, parent club. Okay, fair enough. Uh, do we have... Mm hmm. That is interesting. We're going to have to play Greenwood there, I think. And Kane is going to be in for Galbraith. Um, let's have a look. Anyone else we want on? Uh, Lee Dunn, no... Kalani can go on the bench. That is fine. All good. Wigget, Talbot, Munier. Um, is Munier a deep line playmaker? I thought he was box to box. He is box to box. Let's play Jake Kane uh, as deep line playmaker there. Um, and Mills is coming on. Barry inside. Uh, we're going to play him as winger uh, on attack, I think. Uh, what are we training him as? He's, he's progressing really, really well. I'm happy. Uh, with that, so let's crack on uh, with the match. Uh, hopefully, we can get a result here against Brighton. And uh, I'd like to see Wallace continue his form. I'd like to see him, you know, really, really stretch out uh, a run of games where he's scoring every game. Uh, that really is a, a, a way to endear himself to me uh, and keep his uh, place uh, in the squad. Ross is just back from injury. I didn't want to risk him though. Uh, he's on a he's on an orange injury, if you know what I mean. So Brighton nil, York nil. I do like Brighton. It is a side that I've never managed them actually in Football Manager, funnily enough. It's a side I was thinking about managing. I might do a private save with them at some point. But I've got plans um, already in place for um, FM21. I'd like to do one of the relegated teams, you know. Um, I think that's always a fun save. Or what I like to do sometimes is holiday a season uh, and see who goes down from the Prem. Uh, and then take them over. But not, normally in the beta, I like to do a fairly high level side. Um, but this this FM, this time round, I think I'll take one of the relegated uh, teams, see if I can do a sort of rebuild uh, job on them. So that should be on the channel if we're, um, if we're covering it then. Jenks away, Mario. Well, what, what do I mean if we're covering it then? Of course we're going to be covering Football Manager release. Don't be silly, Webby. That's a goal from uh, J from J Mario uh, Maurice Claude Maurice uh, scores a goal there. Claude Maurice Clark into Claude Maurice Mario and that is yeah not not a <laughs> slicker again. Dear oh dear oh dear. I'd give me to know how we've done it uh, with these inexperienced goalies that we have. Problem is that they're, they're improving all of the time. And if we do our usual thing with uh, young players, as we do with our goalies and centre-backs, this is the other reason I, w I didn't sell Wigget, is we're going to have to wait for them to develop again, you know? 
Um, and I do feel that is a position uh, that you do need a little bit of experience in. Um, not too bad. Uh, you know, to be honest, I'm I'm not that fussed if we lose this game against Brighton. I mean, we're, I know we're top of the league. I know we're supposedly pushing for promotion. But I feel really, really relaxed. I mean, if you think about it, our only aims and ambitions this season were to avoid relegation. I would love to go up. Of course I would. I mean, I, feel, I do feel it could be a little too soon uh, for us. Uh, but I won't say no, you know, if we go up, I won't, I won't uh, knock it. Um, so, du, du, du. I'm going to play Munier for Jinx. And I'm going to play Marcel Lewis for Mills here. Uh, see how that works out. <clears throat> yeah, so, I mean, it could be a little bit dangerous if we do go up this season. But I'm not going to say no. And, you know, worst case, we go up, we get huge budgets. Uh, we buy in the, uh, the prospects that we want. Uh, and then we come straight back down again. And there's no shame, um, you know, I think uh, Graham Taylor was the one who said it with Watford, wasn't he? There's no shame in being a yo-yo side for a few seasons at all. It really does help you sort of build up uh, your, your reserves of cash um, and your youngsters as well, your youngster quota. So I, there's, I don't see a problem with that, you know, if we go up this season as a surprise package. But it would be a surprise to me uh, if we do somehow manage it. This game is not going as well as the previous one did, though. Uh, Gary Ross is injured. We're going to bring on Hawkins for a run around. Yeah, so I think that's the problem with the, this the, um, Wallace uh, Wallace guy. I mean, he, he, he does have a couple of games um, here and there where he just looks amazing, lights out, like he's going to be, uh, you know, an incredible player. Uh, but then all of a sudden he seems to drop off form, and that is what you get uh, with these young players. Barry scores a goal. Barry, Kenny Barry, scoring against his former club, Brighton. Brighton 2, uh, York 1. Lovely goal uh, from Barry. Lewis, always good Lewis, always good value. His, his attributes, his stats, uh, attributes they are, of course. Um, his attributes, Lewis, aren't great at all. They are of a League 2 or League 1 uh, sort of level player. But I, 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 can, I know I can always rely on... Uh, on Lewis to uh, help me out. So Brighton to York one, not um, particularly upset with that result to be honest. Let's uh, have a look at the uh, schedule uh, and see where the next match uh, is going to be. So confirmation of our loss there against Brighton uh, on our form sheet. Um, I'm not that upset. I mean, look at this form. It's, it's been really, really good uh, for a newly promoted side. Looking at the um, uh, at the form sheet here, like I say, in this league, there are every single game I'd be happy uh, to do a live com on, if I'm honest uh, with you. I like the look of that Swansea game, but I think uh, we're going to come back to you uh, on the uh, against uh, Leeds. So we'll we'll do a huge chunk. That is quite a big chunk of games, and of course we'll have the January uh, transfer window. I'm not against uh, doing some business in the January. We've got about a million in the budget, and I expect a bit more. Uh, with some uh, player sales uh, due. So we'll come back to you uh, at the Leeds QPR game, uh, that kind of time period uh, then. So there we have it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that episode there. If you did, please leave uh, a thumbs up and a, a subscribe down below. Uh, it would really, really help me uh, reach my 75 goal uh, sub target this month uh, if you have enjoyed uh, the episode there I really really hope that you have a lovely uh, rest of your day and I will see you all uh, in the next episode of the York City Road to Glory